Antonio Hart and I'm here in my office in New York at the Aaron Copeland School of Music and I um, had the pleasure of uh, being able to try out the new Yanagasawa Alto. The model is called the AW010 and it's based off of the early model, the 991. Now they've done a lot of modifications to this horn and some of them you probably wouldn't even notice but um, one that is noticeable is the front F key has been modified and it's very comfortable. Um, I like this a lot. There have been some things that have been done to the bore and the tone holes and the bell for intonation and some, some other things that honestly I couldn't even tell you what they were unless you really, like I said, unless you really studied this, um, you probably wouldn't see it. But I find this horn to be um, of the standard of the Yanagasawa. It's a, it's a very flexible horn if I'm playing in a traditional setting, if I'm playing more contemporary. In even some other experimental types of music, I think this horn is very, very flexible and can do it what I need it to do. I've been trying to push it to see how far its threshold is, and it's pretty powerful. It has, it, it can take a lot of air, and um, it has a combination of um, the highs and the lows. Um, it's, it's a little on the high end for for my style of playing, but it, it it has a piercing sound and it cuts and it goes really straight ahead. But it's a, it's a it's a round sound. It still stays within the for me what the Yanagasawa is. The Yanagasawa mm -hmm. is a rounder sound and I love it. Um, I think this is a great um, evolution for the company and I think anybody that, that uh, plays Yanagasawa's already will love to try this horn and for anybody that's interested in trying a, a great alto on the market made by for me the number one saxophone company in the world they really need to try this horn out so um, I think um, that's it so I hope you enjoy it I hope you go out and buy this horn Go out and try it and spread the news that Yanagasawa is coming out with a new brand. In my office, um, there's one more thing that I want to talk about. Uh, for a few years now, I've been talking to uh, some of the people at Yanagasawa about their cases. I found that some of the cases were a little bulky. Um, those of you that hang Yanagasawa's or seen them, you know that, that case as soon as you see it. And I'm very happy that they've um, even modified the case for this uh, for this new horn. Uh, here it is. You see, it's thinner, slim lined. Um, it's beautiful. They have a pouch in the front, so of course you can put music in here, neck strap, reeds, or what have you. I think that's really beautiful. Um, it has three clamps: clamp here, middle, clamp here, and it also has key locks. Now the thing that's really hip, on the back, here, you have, there you go, put it on your back. And this is really nice, nice leather and it's a nice strap, it's really, really beautiful. So it hooks hooks on the side, and there you go. So um, the inside of the case is pretty standard, so I'm not going to open the case and show it to you. But this is something that's really special, and actually I'm going to get one of these for my horn because I love this case. It's just really they took time and they designed it and it looks really rich it looks wonderful to go with that uh, Maserati horn that they've made so thanks again my name is Antonio Hart <laughs>